Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna be talking about Tesla stock. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. So if you guys don't know, Tesla did not do so well today. And a lot of people were actually very shocked about Tesla's performance on battery day and basically what was unveiled in itself. Overall, Tesla is a very good stock, basically being the pioneer of the whole EV industry itself. But a lot of people did not really expect Tesla to sink this much on the much anticipated battery day. If you guys don't know, Elon Musk did reveal a lot of cool stuff about the company, basically saying that there's going to be cheaper cars coming out and stuff like that. But what raised concerns to most people was what Elon Musk actually said yesterday, that basically a lot of the stuff that he was saying isn't going to reach mass production until 2022. Although I still don't think the stock should have tanked this much overall because Tesla, uh, Elon Musk actually thinks the company is going to grow 30 to 40 percent. Uh, in the year of 2020, which is absolutely huge to grow that much in a state of pandemic. Tesla has done pretty well. It's a, pretty well for itself, having the last four profitable quarters. Analyzing the five-year chart, it's up 648%. And the last one year, it is up 723%. Absolutely huge growth stock. And I think that's actually led by the growing kind of want for EV cars. A lot of companies are leaning more towards battery powered stuff. It's just cheaper, it's better. You get more power out of the car and they actually last longer than gas powered cars. Overall, I think the majority of people can agree that EV is going to be the future. Battery powered stuff is gonna be the future. A lot of people though are still puzzled on why Tesla actually sank more than 11% today. And I think it's just because not only did Elon Musk say that not only did Elon Musk say that, you know, mass production for these batteries and all this stuff is not going to happen until 2022. My main concern or my main reason I actually think Tesla is sinking so much after hours or hasn't been doing as well as it was a couple of months ago is because the growing competition in the EV market. Guys, there's so much EV company cars out there. You guys have to understand there's Neo, there's Hylion, there's Workhorse, and all these EV companies are coming out. They're all IPOing and they're all coming for Tesla. Although Tesla, the pioneer of the EV industry itself, founded in 2003, kind of built the idea of the overall EV industry going after basically what we know as Tesla today. A lot of people didn't believe in Tesla and Tesla has come a long way since 2003, building some of the best cars out there and the stock has grown absolutely incredibly and massively. But the biggest problem that's arising with investors is what is Tesla gonna do in the nearby future to ensure that it can still stay on top of the competition? If you guys haven't noticed, there's a lot of EV makers coming in and not only that, but there's also competitors that are dropping more electric cars. I know Ford's in talks of dropping their own electric car as well. GM took a 11% stake in Nikola Motors. So overall, there is growing competition and it's coming super fast. You guys have to understand from a corporate perspective where there's money to be made or there mo there's money to be found, big time investors and these huge companies are gonna be there to back it up. Overall, I think Tesla's growth is very impressive, but I think Tesla from now on has to start taking a more strategic approach. I know a lot of people are bullish about Tesla. I know people are bullish about the whole EV industry in itself, but I think Tesla needs to start taking stuff to the next level. And I'm very happy that they're actually producing longer lasting batteries. Probably one of Tesla's biggest complaints, but he, Elon Musk himself even said that there's going to be a shortage. Although looking at it from an investment perspective, I mean, Tesla is still growing and it's still actually trying to make itself more appealing to the public. Actually, they're going to be dropping a Tesla that's only worth $25,000. Now that's still a lot of money, but compared to Tesla's other vehicles, I mean, those cars range anywhere from like 50 to $100,000. So producing a Tesla car that's only $25,000 is super, super affordable to the public. And I think that's going to be great news for the stock. I think overall, a lot of people were expecting a lot of different things from battery day in itself. I did not expect the stock to actually tank over 12% today from battery day. I thought the stock was actually going to rally very much. I thought it was going to rally very hard and I thought it was going to grow a lot. But unfortunately, I don't think investors were impressed with battery day. And like I said, only in my opinion, I think it's just because mass production of these batteries isn't really going to start until 2022, which is, you know, a whole nother year away. I was expecting more like early 2021 or even mid 2021, but having to wait all the way till 2022 was probably a huge turnoff for investors. You have the rising competition, but overall, I still think Tesla is a very good growth stock. I mean, this company has grown a lot, even in the state of pandemic. 
putting up profitable quarters continues to grow more and more every single day and a lot of people are still bullish about tesla getting analyst upgrades all the time even though a lot of people thought that tesla was going to fail so tesla has proved people wrong time and time again overall i still think tesla is a very good investment i think people should pick up tesla if you get the chance i am very bullish on the whole battery market ev industry just because i know that it is going to be the future Tesla in itself is going to grow for a very long time. They're already trying to roll into the large pickup truck industry. And I know overall that they're actually going to be diversifying into other sectors as well. So I'm very curious to see where Tesla goes from here. But let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what you thought of Battery Day. Were you guys disappointed with Battery Day? Did you guys expect a different result from Battery Day in itself? I'm very curious to hear your thoughts, guys. Please let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.